Hello, Christine here. Today I'm bringing you a pattern review for a pattern when I first saw it, I thought, no, hard pass, not for me. And then the more I saw this dress made up, I thought, let me give it a try. The pattern I'm talking about is the Tilly and the Buttons Lauder dress. And this may be one of my favorite dress patterns. This dress is as easy to wear as it is to sew. Now for the woven version, you have a front and back bodice piece, and you do have facing pieces, one skirt piece that you cut out twice. For the knit version, and yes, you can sew it in woven, and you can sew it in knit, the only difference is you have a neckband. Now, I love this. I decided not to put pockets on this. One, I didn't have enough fabric, and two, I didn't think that they would look all that great in this fabric. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the pockets that come with the pattern. So I left them off this version, and I also left them off my knit version. Now you can style this dress up or style it down. Today I'm wearing it how I would wear it to church. I've got on a necklace and some hoop earrings and a pair of flats, and I am enjoying this. And I'm gonna be inserting some video somewhere in here so you can get a better view of the dress. I did find that the knit version and the woven version look a little bit different, and I think it's due to the weight of the fabric. This is a green Swiss dot cotton. It's very lightweight. I sewed this in collaboration with Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews. We were meeting up at the Sewing Expo in Florida, and we thought, of course, St. Patrick's Day, we need to make something green. This was the only green fabric I had in my stash. I had two and three quarters yards, I believe, of this, and I just eked a size 10 dress out of this. So no pockets, there was nothing left over, but I really do like this. The knit version is beautiful and it makes me feel special. Let me show you. This is my most recent make for me. This is the knit version. I chose to sew this in an art gallery. I think it's called Sprinkled Peonies Fabric. It's a cotton jersey with 5% spandex. And I think the pattern on this and the actual niceness of the fabric really elevates this dress. And I'm gonna try it on for you in just a moment. I think it just looks so pretty. I feel fabulous in it. And I had three yards of this, so I do have some pretty good size off cuts that I think I'm going to sew something for my mini me out of this. Let me try this on and give you a couple of tours. So here's my knit version, and I've already inserted some video footage of me doing some twirls in it. I love this. I love both versions, and I do feel like they fit and look different despite being the exact same size in pattern pieces. I forgot to mention the only notion you need is elastic. I inserted a 3 8 inch elastic into this and I just love this dress. The fabric is so soft and nice against my skin. Like I said earlier, I think that this pattern elevates the dress. Now, in my plans video for sewing with my colors, I had mentioned that I wanted a t-shirt dress to be tried and true. And I did try the Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt dress, which is in the Make It Simple book. And it didn't work out so great for me. I just didn't feel, I wasn't feeling it. I ended up using it as a pool cover up, but this, this I can get into. I think I like, the slight A-line shape of the skirt. I do like the elastic, which cinches it in at the waist. That's what attracted me to the Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt dress in the first place. This is a grown on sleeve. You do have the option of sewing a piece onto this to make it long sleeve, but I wanted something that I could get a lot of wear out of in our summers are long here. So I have more opportunity to wear a short sleeve dress than I do a long sleeve dress. I'm so glad I did. 
I love the dress. I love the fabric. I love absolutely everything about this. And I'm so glad that I didn't let my initial reaction when I saw the pattern prejudice me against the pattern. This is a lovely dress. I don't feel frumpy in it, which was what I kind of thought the first time I saw the pattern. I feel fabulous. I knew this was going to be a winner when I tried it on before hemming it and I wanted to immediately cut out another one. So I think this is going to be my tried and true casual dress. I have a lot of cotton jersey and now I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. If you have any questions about the lotter dress, hit me up below and until next time, this is what YouTube thinks you'd like to see next.